I'm Kate Thornley Hall, and I have an interior design firm in Toronto, and I am in my ski cabin, my family's cabin in Collingwood, Ontario, that we use in the winter for skiing, and it's a really favorite, favorite place of ours. The cabin's originally 1870s, and I think it was from Duntroon, apparently just down the road, and brought here in the 60s and reassembled. And dimension 16 by 16, a doll's house for a family of five. So we blasted out the back and extended a bit, not a lot, but just to give us a little extra room. The uh, new part of the cabin is where the main door is. You come in and we underheated the slate floor, so it's very cozy and toasty and warm there. And it's a nice spot for my carpet Madrid, which is a new wool flat weave that we're doing based on Spanish tiles. And the main entranceway leads to a mud room, which is a really well used room with a lot of skiers in and out. And then there's the bathroom. This is the main room of the cabin, so it's kitchen, dining room, living room, sitting area, fireplace. The living room bit of the cabin is, again, tiny and a puzzle, so I used a sofa that's been in our family for a long time and I just keep recovering it and reusing it. And right now it's cherry red, sitting on the maple leaf carpets I thought looked great. Some stick chairs that I thought were a bit log cabiny. And then I got caught up in vintage Hudson's Bay stuff one year and found a whole lot of it. And we have a lovely Nova Scotia pine dining table that I got from a great dealer friend in Shakespeare, Ontario, who made the Repro Windsor back chairs that I think look really nice with that. And there's a crazy deer head chandelier that I found. It's 1920s French, but it's very sparkly and sparkly is good in a dark room. And it's also hilarious. I love it. And I have some sconces that sort of match it above the fireplace. And then the crazy silver snowflake on the wall is um, Indian silvered tin. The kitchen, it was a puzzle because it's very tiny and I nearly used the existing old barn board cupboards but they weren't, there weren't enough of them. I had um, wood made into barn boards and I found this fantastic marble that to me looks like a, the beach. We're only 200 yards from Georgian Bay, so I thought that was kind of nice. Found this wacky fridge that I would never use normally, but looked like wood grain to me. The guy I bought it from in Collingwood said, nobody's bought this fridge. Nobody likes this fridge, but I, <laughs> I like this fridge. Staircase was built by a amazing guy in Collingwood, and he used old leftover beams from building jobs and the knobs are all the ball bearings from the old Blue Mountain chairlift. The banister you'll see down to the basement is the actual cable from the Blue Mountain chairlift. Upstairs, it, there's a sort of uh, walkway hallway and I recently took a lot of my carpet samples, little swatches, and we convinced Turco Persian to stitch them all together and it looks really fun. It's just a wacky piece that I think is my favorite piece right now. So it's featured in the hallway outside the bathroom. Everything's kind of cozy in that bathroom. We have heated floors, which is kind of a luxury, I think. It's a contrast to what you'd expect in a log cabin. And down the hallway is my son Joe's bedroom, and it's a tiny room that can sleep a lot of people. We wedged four bunks in there, and the only reason I did is it's a version of what was there before, and there were bunks made of pine board in there, so I just repeated that, and we put a big world map on the uh, wall just because I think it helps with geography, and it's pretty. And to finish off, there's a cozy woolen woven rug designed for us by the Smythe Girls Toronto fashion designers. And then there's our master bedroom. I wanted to maintain the exterior walls inside the cabin too, so we've left some of the cabin walls. I used a, a French crazy twill bird wallpaper in there that I matched the curtains to. It just felt like a French chalet in there. And I got a beaten up glass lamp that looked so awful for $20 and then spent a million dollars getting it made into a lamp again. And on the floor, there's one of our new line of wool flat weaves called Olivia. That's the blue and the cream of this room. And there's an antique Nova Scotia pine chest of drawers. And lastly, I used surprising and bold contemporary bedding to contrast the crazy antique French wallpaper. And then we have my daughter's room, who a uh, tiny room, but it encourages girls to share. They have one chest of drawers, two beds, 
and some crazy cabbage rose wallpaper. On the bed, I've used my cashmere and silk uh, herringbone pillows. And then there's like a funny Mexican mirror. See uh, my strange collection, but the strange Mexican mirror got to go in there. And on the floor in the girls' room, continuing the flower theme, is a new design of ours called Full Bloom. It's a wool and silk woven carpet that I think complements the crazy cabbage rose wallpaper. The fun of doing this cabin for me was I've never done anything to a theme before. And this is a theme. This is like Little House on the Prairie. This is like Ralph Lauren's dream. It was the funnest ever job I've ever done. I wasn't going to do anything other than log cabin, so it was really fun. 